Hey everyone and welcome to more Super Mario 3D All-Stars. On the last video series I've done was all about Super Mario Sunshine. Now it's time for Super Mario Galaxy. Which is pretty much I think my favorite game on the Wii I think. Or one of my most favorite games on the Wii. It's awesome. It's really epic. Now I was curious to see how they would do this here. They used a gyroscope on the controller. As you can see, I already had a little bit of a play around. They used a gyroscope. It works quite well, considering you don't really need to use this all that much. Um, obviously, the Wii remote is the best. It's got better tracking. Um, it's just better in general. But if you press the R button on this controller, you basically just reset where the pointer is anyways to the center so after it um, every hundred years a comet appears in the skies above the mushroom kingdom so after it kind of you know goes away a little bit you can recenter it anyways there is some drifting the comet was so large one year it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down the toads brought the shooting stars to the castle where they became a great power star it should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. This is very slow reading. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. From Peach. Didn't have to read that one. So you move the controller and you can catch these star bits. You can also shoot them uh, around. So that's why I said like this aiming the controller isn't going to be as big of a deal as you think. So it's like, you know, pointing this isn't going to be that bad. I don't think. Um, I think for the most part at least it's going to be absolutely fine. But as you can see the controls, the camera angles, um, they're a lot you know, improved from Super Mario Sunshine. So they've learned a lot from it. So no matter what, this little star is always going to be part of the screen. Um, it, it, it's unfortunately just a gimmick of this game because obviously this was on the Wii, so yeah, you, you got it there. Now I gotta say though, these graphics are awesome. We all know the, the Wii graphics aren't necessarily known to be great. The Wii was never an HD console. I know there's a kit that can make the console HD. But it's never a true HD, it's a more upscale kind of thing. So unfortunately, it was just always 480p or I think 570i, something like 480i, something like that.
So this is the whole premise of the game, basically. So as the name suggests, this is of course a galaxy Mario. So it's all about going to be in planets and stuff like that. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Come jump with B. And it's going to tell you that a fair few times. Just jump with B. Certain places you don't have camera angles. Other places you do have camera angles. Let's play hide and seek. First, you catch all of us. We'll tell you about where you are. So you got to go and chase those three little bunnies. Well, you got to find them first and then you got to chase them. And if you just hover this star over the other stars, you pretty much catch them. And... Yeah, there's, there's a whole thing with these stars where it's... But you can, Mario can touch them as well himself with his body and catch them. But obviously, 99% of the time, that's not going to be feasible because they're too far away for Mario to catch. Um, there's also, of course, coins which restore your health. You can fall into those holes which sometimes, depending on how you fall... They can get you to the other side of the planet if they, the holes go all the way. I'll show you that in a minute, actually. You caught me! That's one out of three. Oh, if only I'd hidden in the pipe. Well, it's already telling me. Go to the pipe. I don't think there's one hidden in the pipe, though. Oh, yeah, there was. There was one. There was. It's not this one. There's another one that you go to a pipe, but you don't have to. I sort of hidden in the grass. Let me just go and pick this up. Um, so the A and B button do the same thing here. I've just noticed. And to backflip, you can just do that. So yeah. The the controls are a lot more intuitive and a lot better designed here. I gotta say that, that's grass. Got him. Can't believe I let myself get caught. Well, you caught all of us. Maybe you really can help, Mama. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to the deep space from far from your lands. We call it the gateway to the starry sky. As far as I know, I gotta go there. It's Princess Peach, which she's gonna teach me a secret special move. Oh, this isn't Peach, sorry. This is um Rosalina. I've been watching from far. F uh, I've been watching from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with this care, with his care. Sorry. We have the ability to spin now. Shake the controller. You can also spin with Y. <laughs> Disaster has struck us, just as it ha has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the stars shine down on you. So, there's a pretty good theme around stars, but this one is like in space and galaxy and stuff. And that's the the flipping thing you can do that you, you cannot spam it so yeah after the star gets in then i can do it again should controller or press y to spin into things that look breakable you can even spin enemies to stun them so i'm not using i'm using the pro controller by the way and you gotta spin into that again this is a launch star 
Check the control, press Y when you're near one, shoot through the space like a comet. Now go and explore the universe. There are lots and lots of galaxies for you to discover. There are lots and lots of galaxies and there is lots and lots of uh, star systems as well. And planets and cool stuff like that. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all these star chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure to fall into the black hole. So usually you get... Oh, I'm gonna get this one up top. Usually you should get the... You earn one additional Mario. Now, this game doesn't punish you nowhere near as badly as... Don't fall onto that. Onto there though. That will kill you. This game doesn't punish you nowhere nearly as bad as Super Mario Sunshine does when you die. It does not make you redo the entire level. It only makes you redo from literally almost the last bit that you die. So if I were to die here, it would respawn me right here. It would still cost me a life. A life. A life. <laughs> But at least it would get me closer, closer. Whereas, you know, Super Mario Sunshine would just literally push me out all the way to the main hub and then make me go inside the level again, select it and take it from there. So it's very difficult. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have the key. You can shade the controller, press Y to spin and make him dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Now, the pressing Y shaking the controller is obviously a Nintendo Switch only kind of thing because obviously on the Wii um, you only have two buttons really which is the A and B button and then you got the one and two buttons at the bottom of the controller but you got the A and B oh and you got the uh, trigger button as well you got the trigger the trigger buttons as well in here you have a lot more buttons uh, but I think on the Wii with, with the Pro Controller, because you had a Pro Controller on the Wii or like a normal uh, game controller, you could do the same thing as well. Or you can do something similar to it as well, if I remember correctly, which, yeah. If you shake those, these guys, uh, it will send like a thing for those guys and... You'll send like a shockwave to them and you can then pounce on them. Just FYI. Now this video is, I'm gonna try and keep them to half hour long, same as my Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. Uh, they were half hour long. I think that's a good medium where it's not too long or, or like an hour long and it's not like 20 minutes, which to me 20 minutes is long enough, but it feels kind of short, so my live streams usually go like two to three hours, which is long. And then, you know, my normal gameplays go to way too short, so. Hurry! Down here! You don't have to do anything when you, when you get pushed in here. We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using Grand Stars as part of that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star powers drain. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Okay, so. What you gotta do here is, of course, press these buttons that I just touched. I'm not gonna bother too much with the coins, but you do get extra... Not extra bonus, but you do get kind of like high score by collecting as many coins as you can um, of course when you're in these planets you got gravity pushing you down all the way all the time so you can go around places like I am right now turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine but these weren't the only flip switches there were more of them which I've already disabled so when I disable these it disables all of them And then it gets me the Grand Star. Yeah. 
You got a grand start. This is the main hub. And there's areas I can access straight away, there's areas I cannot yet access. That is one of the new areas I can now access. You got a star, Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy 1. High score updated. And of course, the star beats does get uh, saved as well. You've discovered a new galaxy, which is called the Terrace Galaxy. The beacon is lit, lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a classic star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These uh, star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel to starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away uh, star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. I have a request. So she says please, but not the rest of it. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restore, is this one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies. You can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then, perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Save the game. Heck yes. Saving. The game has been saved. Okay, so we know the premises of the game and we know more or less uh, what the game is all about. So we got s several observatories here, there, and everywhere, but Mario cannot go to those as he does not possess the necessary abilities to get there. So we will unlock, unlock those as we play through the game. Um, so to begin with, let's go inside of these and find out what else is there. This video is going to be mostly just about finding out all the, the you know the gimmicks and all what the game has to offer. Welcome, dude. Welcome. This door acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a uh, blue star, or a pull star, should I say, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your controller at the pull star and press A. If you lose sight of the star, you can reset it with R. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can just tap the star directly onto the screen. I gotta try to try this handheld mode actually, because man, having touch controls for this would be awesome. And just like that, these are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The number represents their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the further you'll be able to travel. So oh, at the moment I only got one, so I can only go to this one, but I can see this is a three and that is an eight. And I got two mystery ones around me, which I don't yet know. So let's go to this one first. Let's unlock it. Good at galaxy. So you got three levels per galaxy, I suppose. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Fly to this galaxy. You don't necessarily need to do three levels per galaxy. You can get away with less because you only need to meet the minimum amount of stars. 
Good egg galaxy, Dino Piranha. Let's go to it. Just very much like Super Mario uh, Sunshine. I didn't do everything that the game had to offer. But Super Mario Sunshine had a minimum. Like you have to do at least seven levels per area. Where this one is obviously a little bit different than that. It's a bit more complicated actually, should I say. Okay. Usually if you move around your cursor thing, you can get stuff. I will eventually shoot those, by the way. Uh, there's a coin. For the most part, I don't care much about coins and stuff like that. Now, the camera is not a free camera anymore. You can you can move it around in fixed angles, but you cannot move it around like I used to do before. Um, you can't get closer or further away either. But the game, I gotta say, the game's camera, uh, or the way it aims at stuff, it's actually quite alright, to be fair. Um, they, they fixed, like I said, I keep saying, they fixed a lot of, of stuff in the game. Now, this is the pipe I was telling you guys about. I don't have to come to this. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> like I, said, I don't have to come to that pipe. I, you can choose to. You don't have to. It's not that one. So there's multiple ways that you can go to this level. Multiple things for you to do. Uh, for you to do here. I'm gonna collect as many of these little stars as I can. I think this this is the pipe, I think. But, although I don't really have to go. It, I think it just gives you like a mini- Yeah, it gives you like a mini game here. So you can literally go like MC Hammer's music video and... And just go around. And you got one up. And you gotta hurry up and get it, otherwise it disappears. So it's not gonna last very long. I think the very first time I'd done this, I didn't even get the one up because it, it disappeared before I had a chance to get into it. This is a totally optional room, you don't ever have to do it. Um, I think for now, there is nothing here. What, uh, what did that say? Sorry. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, press plus and select return to the observatory. But you can't bring back any star baits you picked up, so be careful. That's cool. So you're at the top of that house. I can just do that to those guys. I don't have to because it's just like, they're, meh, they don't matter much. But yeah, you can do that. So walking around like that will... Uh, you can jump on those guys as well. Or they can hit you. Yeah, you get three hits here and you're done for, by the way. You can get more, I think, more than three hits. And yes, of course, um, getting coins also restores your health. And mushrooms and other stuff like that. Um, you can get more than three hits. Just very much like, I think, Super Mario 64 has that as well. Where if you get like a mushroom or, well, the equivalent of a mushroom, um, you'll get... Why didn't I just get a one up there? I don't know. Uh, if you get if you get a mushroom or the equivalent of it, then you can very much have. All I had to do is go here to begin with. By the way, my friends are ahead. Hurry! You can have up to six, or they stack up. And we can do this now. Usually, when you're flying around like this, the stars that go around, and you have to like collect them. I think to begin with, the very start of the game, you don't get that. But I'm pretty sure eventually you will. Now those red bits at the end, I don't remember... Ouch. I don't remember if you can shoot them or if you can just flick them and that causes them to... It, it just breaks them up or something like that happens. I can't remember exactly. But I know there's something with them that you can attack them and it will cause like an if some effect like that. I don't really want to find out, to be fair. Yes, sometimes you can't just move around. Okay, the star is going to be right at the end of that. This whole thing feels like a freaking chocolate biscuit. And you're going to go from like little small constellations bomb into. Now that guy, I think, yeah, you can just do that as well. I know I gotta go up there and I know exactly what to do, but before I do that... Uh, 
Get out of here. Those guys, I don't think they do any damage either. I think they're there just to be a bit annoying. I think if you get 10 coins, you get 1-up here, yeah, but don't quote me on that, because I had 10 coins before and I got 1-up. That was a weird 1-up, by the way. I don't have to shake the controller, I can just press Y and it does the same effect. Let's find out. No. That's not the case. I don't know why I just got a 1-up there. Now, if you drop here, you're dead. So, on that hole. So, be careful and don't do it. I didn't know to begin with. Let's see if I can break one of these guys with this. Oh crap. Yes, I can. I think I can possibly break all of them. Do I want to? No, I don't have to either. I don't think. Are they like unlimited or something? Oh no, it went away. I suppose my breaking those things. Time is gone. Yeah, they just keep coming from there, so they're like a little bit too. Playing this with the Switch controllers, like with the nunchucks, I think would be a lot better. To be fair, but the controllers kind of drift as well. Oh, it's actually damaging me. Just when I said, oh, they don't really matter much, and then they... They're little bastards. Starting to do some serious damage to me. Yeah, because that that would feel like playing with the, like like the Wii as much as possible. Watch out! After you spin once, you have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. I think there is a bug or a cheat or whatever you want to call it that makes you the spin unlimited. But I don't know what it is. Oh, here you here you are. Yeah, you got some of those. Okay, boss time. What a way to end the video. Just about a half hour to do all of this. A little bit longer than that, but... So what you gotta do to this guy, to defeat him, is this. You just gotta keep doing that constantly. I think you gotta do it twice more, if I'm not mistaken. You can shoot his mouth with the stars. If you want to slow him down, I think for the very first and second time, you'll be okay. You don't have to do it. Oh, damn it. I don't think you have to do it. You can get away without. But I think this time, when he gets really mad, you might have to. See, that slows him down quite a bit. Yes, you are wasting a bit of coins and stuff. Ah, damn it. No! Got him. Oh no, that just made him even more mad. I just gotta go around him and then do that again. If he gets too close, you can always um, shoot him in, in the face or whatever. Or just shoot him in general. I got another big star. Before I go and collect it, though, uh, I think if you shoot these like that, yeah, you get a coin out of them. So you gotta be trading coins for uh, stars of coins, should I say? I think that's literally it for this little tiny circular round planet. I think I literally got everything else out of it. You got a star. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You got a star, Dino Piranha. Cute egg galaxy. High score. And 175 star bits. Save your game. Heck yes. The game has been saved. Those are star beats to Lumas. They are the tastiest, most uh, delectable treats imaginable. Aim your controller at the screen and point your star at them to pick them up. If you're playing in handheld mode, you can also collect them by tapping directly on the screen. Once you have some, shoot them uh, by aiming the star and pressing ZR. It's going to teach me all about these stars. 
Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me the star pits. Okay, let's collect these first. I think it takes about a hundred for the most part, but this one, I think this is the first one, it's gonna take less. Hmm, tasty. Let's call those little uh, morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a uh, hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Star Beats will be a big help on your adventure. It's a cool gimmick on the game. So, speaking of which, I'm gonna end this one here as the very first episode. I think it was awesome. It was definitely epic. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I'll see you guys on the next one.